welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at online photo showing at OMHPS or online model horse photo shows and you can get there from omhps.com. I just uh, started a new show so you can enter and it is performance only and I'd like to show you how to enter this and set yourself up here so that you can actually show. You can find the shows up here in the shows section and as that opens, the next thing you go to either open shows or upcoming shows to see what's available. And this is my show that will be open shortly. When you're looking at shows, you can look at this, uh, the different divisions people have. And if you open here, you can see all the classes. Just a quick on the basics on how to enter a class. So I picked a show here. I went down, say, let OF large. And I'm going to go to light, and let's say I want to enter an Arabian, and this is halter. So I pick enter, and this will come up with all the models that meet the requirements. And there may be two models allowed, three models allowed, and then I can pick who I want to select and enter. Pick another one and enter. And that's as hard as it is to enter, nothing to it. So if you're brand new here, the first thing you have to do is add your horses. So you go to the My Horses tab. Next, you click on Add a Horse. And you have to create the horse before you can add your performance. First thing I do is select my image. So I go to File, I go through my folders, and find a model to enter. And I tend to name all my files with the model name so I can remember, especially between places I'm entering. Once you have a picture, you put in the name, you add your description, then you can pick your make, your breed, and if it's a crossbreed, you add it, and your size, and your gender whatever description in there you want and then you must create it before you do anything else prove you're not a robot yet again and create at this point you can now enter this model into breed classes but we're going to do some more we're going to go in and we're going to edit this across the top we have different tabs so you can add your references you can put in links or pictures if you're a premium member whatever you need to do for references of that model. Next thing you wanna do is workmanship, even for an OF. So here you're gonna pick the color. When you're picking your color, if it has a pattern, the first thing you have to do is pick the main color. So in this case, it's gray. And I'm gonna enter this one as dapple gray. For the workmanship, I'm gonna use the same um, image or you can add a different one from workmanship and here, you enter the fact that it is a Pinto. <laughs> Next, you pick your medium. So this is just a OF, an original finish. And again, you must update it before you do anything else. Now I have my workmanship. I'm gonna go back into edit. And I'm going to go to collectability. You get the year introduced, uh, year retired, the run type, and the number made. Of course, you may need to look up on identify your prayer to get all the specifications so that you could enter that because this uh, will give you everything you need. Now, once you've entered that, there's no picture. The picture that will be used will be your main picture. And then you update yet again. Now your model's ready to show in any of the halter classes. If you do not do the workmanship and collectability, the model will not show up when you try to enter it in either a color or a collectability class. So sometimes you're wondering, well, I entered the model, why isn't it going? And this is why. So you need to enter the main information, the workmanship, and the collectability. And under workmanship, make sure you enter the main color and the patterns or you won't see it. Now from the your horses. You can just type in part of the name and it'll bring up a model. So let's say I want to do some performance. 
with this model. I'm going to go and edit. And one of the things I find here, it doesn't always work when you click on it. You may have to move the cursor up and down to actually find the button. So once you're in the model, you can go to the performance tab and you can add a new performance. From here, you can pick off what performance you're going to do. So I don't have one for him, but let's just say I was going to do bareback. Then you're going to go and find a file of your model doing bareback, which I don't have, but let's just pick a picture and open it. I'll remove that in a second. And that is how you enter your performance. Now you're going to put a description of your performance. This is what the judge is going to read. So this is important. You know, you put exactly what it is and here you can link a, a something online, what you're trying to show the judge, what you're trying to do. So if it's a trail class, try to find something very similar to your model if it's not obvious. And reference images are also possible. You can add your reference images here. Again, you need to be a premium member for that, which is not any, that expensive. But that is how you do your performance. So you enter your performance, your description, your references, and your image of that performance event. Again, create it. And that's your next, that's your uh, performance entry. You can then go and create as many as you want for that model. Now, once judging is done, you will find up here in the letters, you will have information of how your horses have placed. And over here by your name, you can see your show results. And that will give you your information. If you want to see what it was, you can always click on the horse, you can click on the class, and it shows you how many entries were in, and uh, all the information about that. Now you can see in the results here, I got a first here, but it did not place. And what that is, is I didn't get a champion. I got the first, but I didn't place in the championship. Same here, bummer. Now up here you have a profile, and you can see your profile, and it will show you your top placing models. So if I pick on one of these, it will show me what that model has won up here. Now, a lot of the shows just have regular ribbons, but some of the shows have custom ribbons. So that's a regular one, and these are custom. And the show that I'm holding right now has custom ribbons. Now, if you already have entered horses and you wanna see what's going on in the show, you can go in judging and process and click on a show. And then you can find, if I, let's say, go into uh, OF large, See what I know I have something in here. I probably have an Arabian. If I click on here, it will take me to the class. And if the results are placed, if I click on the results, I can see the placings and how I've done. And that shows you all the horses in the class and how you've done. And if I go back, it will show me if I have callbacks. So if it does not have a DNP, it means they're still in callbacks. So here I see in light, there is currently four callbacks. They haven't been done yet. So these are not all posted yet, they're not all judged. So we have to wait till they're judged and that's how people go through the judging. One of the things I'd like to point out is some of the shows are free and some require a payment. And I charge $5 right now because it takes a long time to judge and it costs me to create this show. So if you see people charging, it's not a bad thing because I mean, they'd spend a lot of time going through your models. So it's good to support people like that. And I really hope that uh, now that you know how to work this, you'll come and enter some of my shows. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And thanks for joining me.